Huge wet tornado near Morton, Texas. A powerful tornado swept through Morton, Texas and continued east Monday night at 15 miles per hour. The city of Leveland was also affected and several nearby towns were placed under a tornado warning. A large funnel cloud was also seen in a video posted to social media in Texas. A series of thunderstorms have passed through Bailey, Parmer and Castro counties and Lubbock, Texas, National Meteorological Agency said in a tweet. The storm includes hail of up to, of up to half a dollar and possible gust of 70 miles per hour. The storm subsided earlier than expected and we expect Tuesday's weather to be drier, Fast West Texas reports. In South Carolina, fallen trees and torn roofs are just some of the damage caused by the hurricane in the Chesney area. According to WSPA, nearly 750 customers were left without power shortly after the storm. There are no reports of hurricane casualties in Chesney. Severe weather has warned of sudden flooding, heavy hail and possible tornadoes following last weekend's heat wave. The threat of thunderstorms is present over much of the United States as they move along the cold front. According to the Weather Channel, regions from Texas to Maine were affected, with a tornado likely in the southeast. It said the heaviest rains would be in the south with Mobile, Alabama expected to rise 2 to 3 inches with less humid weather forecast in the east. The threat will continue Tuesday through Wednesday morning across much of central Texas, including the Austin metro area. Texas is facing one of the driest months of May on record. A cold front moving east will provide a relief for the weekend's heat wave. More than 10 million people were subjected to a heat alert in the northeast on Sunday. Record temperatures could be seen from Washington DC to New Hampshire. Temperatures rose in the region until the 1990s. The heat wave was unusual about 15 to 25 degrees above average for this time of year. Thanks.